Hi, welcome to KZ Trapping Productions. My name is Chris. Uh, in this video, we're going to cover how to board a beaver. Uh, we've got one right here. It's already skinned, fleshed, and it's ready to be nailed down. Um, hopefully you've watched the other video we have. Uh, there's two, one on skinning a beaver and the other one on scraping a, be scraping a beaver. Um, but we're going to cover this. I uh, hope you guys get some use out of it. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get this video started. And uh, we'll also show you a little bit about why using these beaver tables if you're going to use a board is a good idea. So, all right, what we're going to do here, we're going to show you the proper way to board a beaver. Now this is different than using the beaver hoops. I prefer the way they look on these as opposed to the beaver hoops. Seems to turn out a lot more even. Anyway, as you can see on the board here, we've got the pattern laid out already. What you want to do is take your beaver and as he's laying out like this, just all like messed up, fold him in half. Okay? Now, take him, pull him as far apart as you can and just lay him down on that center line. And you'll start to see him shrink back after the way you had him. Okay? So I'm at large up here. I'll follow that line around. And that's right there. So I need to move him back just a little bit. So we're going to go with large medium, which is the third line. Alright, so as we go around here, that's where we're going to stay. We'll grab a bunch of nails, kind of drop them right there in the center. Start out by putting one right in the center. And another one in the center of it down here. Also here in a second, you're going to see the advantage of using a beaver table, which is what I have this on. It's just a table that's cut out to allow this board that we're nailing the beaver to to kind of sit down and recess and give it support. But you'll see the other advantage to it here in a second. What's the difference up here between these two? And I messed up. But that's a good thing. Learning experience. There we go. All right. Again, we're going to pull this one out here to the correct line. Same thing down here. And what we're doing on this first go round. Just kind of splitting the difference. Of all these lines. We're good down here on the bottom. All right, it can get tricky like this. So just be patient. Mess it up a few times. It's no big deal. So we started here and here, here and here. Then we go here, here, here and here by the legs. 
we're going to split the difference again. As you can see, it's pretty much starting to take shape. And you're just going to keep going around, splitting the difference between the nails you have in and where you're putting the next one. And you hear me sometimes you will say, or you hear me tap it once and then move it. All I'm doing is just pushing that nail down through and then getting it just so I can grip it and hold it hot. That's all it's doing. My recommendation on this is six penny nails. They're more than strong enough to hold. If you're small enough, you can still work with them. Go back around and fill in the rest of your gaps. I'm not a big guy by any means, but I have to force two fingers in between there and overlap them. So that's about where you want to be when you get to your final grouping of nails. And if some of them are a little further apart, that's no big deal. Just so long as they're not significantly further apart. You can wedge three fingers in there. Those nails are too far apart. And you can't ever have them too close together. Alright, gotta switch sides here.
there's that. When you get your leg holes here, some people like to sew them. I just nail mine shut. What I'll do is just bring them in and kind of drive them at an angle. The back legs are big enough, I prefer to use four. Four nails, that is. Doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to do it. front legs. I'll come in two on one side, one on the other. And there it is. It's boarded. Hopefully you can see it's a nice even pattern all the way around it and uh, make it look good and presentable for your buyer. Now the one thing I did want to show on these paper tables, when you're using them, if you're using boards, you want to get the most out of them. So the way this table is designed, it sits down in there and it's hollow underneath. So now I can flip this over and go right to work on another beaver because there's a whole nother pattern. Oh, well, right there you have it. Here's the video on boarding a beaver. Uh, it occurred to me about halfway through um, this one, the one still on the other side, but it occurred to me about halfway through it that I did not film the fleshing part so we're gonna have to do another video on that because I don't have any more beavers uh, that need flesh still but anyway um, again thank you for watching the video I hope you learned something from it um, doing them the right way will get you more money for your fur so take the time do it right and uh, hopefully this helps you earn a little bit bigger paycheck at the end of the year um, enjoy yourselves thanks for watching uh, if you like what you see please subscribe to our channel kztrappingproductions.com, and uh, you guys take care. Have a good trapping season.